It was short, it was scripted, and it was seven years after the fact. But Chris Ferguson has finally said, I'm sorry for his role in Black Friday and the Full Tilt Poker Scandal. His sincerity is being questioned, his timing too, and the reaction has been both sharp and swift on social media. The apology heard around the poker world today on High Roller Radio. The headline on Poker News, Chris Ferguson offers short apology after seven years of silence. Out of nowhere and just days before the 2018 World Series of Poker, Chris Ferguson took to Vimeo to issue an apology for Black Friday. April 15th, 2011, the day poker players worldwide were absolutely rocked with the news that the online game they knew had changed forever. The founders of Poker Stars, Full Tilt Poker, and Ultimate Bet, the Big Three, indicted for violations of something called the UIGEA, the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act. There was fraud, malpractice, and the scandal hit home when it was learned Full Tilt didn't have enough funds to pay out its players. Ferguson was part of the company's core management group, its executive. In the apology, he said, I deeply regret not being able to prevent Black Friday from happening. After Black Friday, I work relentlessly to ensure all players got paid back. I sincerely apologize. It took as long as it did. He went on to say, I also realize it has taken me a long time to make any sort of public statement. I appreciate my fans and the poker community for the patience and support. One day, the full tilt poker story will be told, and like many of you, I look forward to that day. Short and sweet, 42 seconds in all, closed it by saying he hopes to see everybody at the WSOP this summer. Thank you and good luck. Didn't take long for people to react. Twitter exploded. Daniel Negreanu, one of the vocal ones at Real Kid Poker, saying it took all this time for Chris Ferguson to come up with this apology. So heartfelt, had me in tears. And of course, he added those sarcastic, it's so funny, I'm crying emojis. You know, Todd would tell us from PokerFraudAlert.com was all over it. With all the money Chris Ferguson stole, you think he could afford to hire a writer and public speaking coach? He said, this was just bad as far as apologies go. Couldn't sound less sincere if he tried. We're looking to add to our team, tweeted at Pocket Fives. Want to be the next managing editor? Note, if you wrote Chris Ferguson's apology script, please don't apply. I guess East Coast Rossi won't be getting that gig. I wrote the prepared statement he claims. It was the best I could do with the information he gave me. Yes, Pocket Fives had the story. Lance Bradley penning an article titled, Chris Ferguson Posts Apology Video Firing Up Poker Community. And that it did. Fired up Bradley, too. Imagine waiting seven years to release this, he mocked. Who advised him this was smart, and what grade are they in? He then added, trying to write a headline for the Ferguson apology piece, and all I have so far is, Chris Ferguson posts apology video, hilarity ensues. Can't get past it. He then concluded with, Ferguson, 10 seconds after the camera stopped rolling, phew, glad that's over with. Public speaking, definitely not Ferguson's forte. Poker is. He's one of the best ever. Has won 9 million playing tournament poker. The World Championship in 2000, of course, when he beat Hall of Famer TJ Cloutche heads up. He's won six World Series of Poker bracelets. Most recently, last year when he took down Event 7, Omaha High Low. That title, plus a series of caches, helped him secure the 2017 WSOP Player of the Year Award. He wasn't a popular winner. That sentiment, highly visible on Twitter today, following Ferguson's apology. Joe Ingram saying, thanks for your timely response, Chris. That apology video, though, tweeted at Schneid's Poker. It would have been cringeworthy years ago. Today, seven plus years later, oh my. Chris Ferguson apologizes for poorly timed, lackluster apology the week before the 2025 WSOP, a joke from Barry Carter using his crystal ball to see into the future. Chris Ferguson looked like Ricky Bobby commented at Cruck Poker, referring to that awkward post-race interview in the movie Talladega Nights. I was surprised he didn't keep asking someone off camera 
What do I do with my hands? Ferguson tries hand at comedy and gets heckled off stage, reported Steve Ruddock. Just a sampling here. Lots of negative reaction on Twitter, disparaging comments. Too little, too late, the general consensus. Undertones of anger as well. But it wasn't all bad. 14-time bracelet winner Phil Helmuth tweeted this. It's a shame that so many of the younger poker players have judged Chris so harshly. I believe the whole truth about full tilt poker will come out, and I believe the haters will be surprised. Benefit of the doubt right there. Former guest Robbie Straczynski over at Card Player Lifestyle Poker Blog, he's willing to hear Ferguson out. I'd need a good deal of help from the poker community, he said. But if Chris Ferguson is ever interested in being properly interviewed by someone impartial to help bring the facts to light and tell the story, I'm willing to do it. That would be a dynamite Q&A. We'll end with Kev Math. Just a reminder, he says... It's going to be an incredible summer. Yes, it is. The biggest show in poker is about to invade the Rio, and it all starts with an apology. Jesus asking for forgiveness today on High Roller Radio.